Yeah. So this is Bobby Yadav taught for various common written exams like math, PGCT, banking exam, as well as CAT, which is my forte. I have over a decade's teaching experience and worked in several renowned institutions before I joined hashtag before I joined an academy, I'm sorry. So please subscribe to hashtag cat live daily. Guys, please subscribe to hashtag cat live daily. Amazing, isn't it guys? So today I have got uh, for you another um, amazing session of uh, reading comprehension guys I think this is the fourth reading pro comprehension exercise I'm having with you I hope by now you are comfortable doing reading comprehension and you are able to gauge the answers and also you're able to tackle it within the stipulated time and I hope that all of you are practicing at least three to four reading comprehensions every day it is very very essential guys please don't ignore please don't ignore this and guys um, then we come to the telegram app so those who have not downloaded the telegram app please do it ASAP and click on the URL which is shared by our team members on and off in the chat box during the session and then look for the cat channel you will be able to download the PDF shared by us amazing guys uh, looking forward to this session so just let me say a quick hello to all the students here lovely students Shivendra hi Sirat Kaur good evening my dear Gaurav Chaudhary, Vibhor Jain, Suchita Tripathi, Aklesh Mishra, Charu Sadana. A very, very good evening to all of you guys. We are uh, looking forward to this amazing session. And uh, guys, uh, a cat is soon approaching and you would require help uh, for the exam. So please hold our hands. We are here on an academy to help you out uh, in your journey uh, to crack the cat exam so please take the subscription as soon as possible and guys before i go further can you please hit the like button and share it as soon as possible please do it please do not forget like and share the video as much as possible okay guys so uh, the cat subscriptions are really really reasonable so one month is just 3,500, three months, 2,917, six months, 2,333, 12 months, 1,458, 24 months, 875. It gets cheaper with the longer duration of the course, right? In addition to that, you use my coupon code BYLIVE and you get an additional discount of 10%. Amazing guys, isn't it? Super, there are so many students joining in. Manish Yadav, Rami, Prabhav Shukla, Aditya, Shamina Kaushar, Hima Bindu. A very, very good evening to all of you. And shall we get started, guys? Okay, guys, are you ready? Um, I hope all of you are practicing reading comprehension every day. Yeah, at least three to four reading comprehension every day must be practiced otherwise you know it will be difficult for you to um, actually take it in the exam so please uh, do practice hi Seema Kumari hi Shilpa Raj hi Anurag Kumar a very very warm welcome to today's session amazing guys so let's not waste any more time please start reading so this is the first of the reading comprehension I have for you Please read. Prabhav Shukla. So you are practicing very good. Thunder A. Hi Thunder. Please read carefully and try and register the important points in your head otherwise when you come to the question it will be difficult for you to answer
Bonjour, Harshad. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Rajendra Prasad. Good evening. Welcome. Quickly read, guys. Quickly read before I move on to the next passage paragraph. Once you all are done, just give me a quick thumbs up. Then I'll move on to the next one. Harshad, where is Jagrati? Once you are done, just give me a quick thumbs up. I'll move on to the next passage. Good evening, Aman Kumar. So I see the thumbs up coming up. I'm moving on to the next paragraph. Okay, done. Read, read. Read very, very carefully, guys. And please register those points which you need to register in your mind. Please read it carefully and note those points so that you can use it later when you come to the question. Hi, hi, Sanjeev Kumar Bansal. How are you? Acha, she'll be here in a couple of minutes. Great. Hi, Sanjeev Kumar. I'm sorry. I didn't notice your name. Ek baar hi kehe do. Kehe rahi ho, Sanjeev. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Sanjeev? Hi, Sanjeev. You are an IITN. Oh, wonderful. Smita Singh, hi. Good evening. Guys, are you are you done with this paragraph? Can I move on? Harshad and Jagriti, bhai ben hai kya? Good evening, Jagriti. How are you? You are ranked 1, 2, 3. Amazing, Sanjeev. So, guys, are you done with the paragraph? This paragraph, can I move on to the next one? Okay, moving on. Read. Oh, Prabhav Shukla, you are from NASA. Wow. Yes, Jagriti, I was just asking Harshad, where are you? Oh, 
Okay, guys, concentrate. Okay guys, quickly read. Prabhav says done. Yeah Manish, all the videos will be available on YouTube. Okay, Manish, not an issue. It will be available on YouTube. Okay, guys, all of you done? Can we move on to the next one? Give me a thumbs up, all of you. I'll move on to the next paragraph. Preeti, this is an RC class reading comprehension. Okay, guys, I'm moving on to the next paragraph. Please read. Preeti, you can definitely watch, but you are in ninth standard. Will you be able to follow? If you are able to follow, you are most welcome to read. No problem. Fayaz Khan, daily timetable of this class. I have the class at 7 p.m. in the evening every day. Prabhav, good. Your speed of reading is very good. Good evening, Achal. I'm good. How are you? Sakam ka meaning, you know, we fall prey. Where is it sakam? Just let me explain the context to you. We are liable to succumb to our non-rational impulses. We tend to give in. Succumb would mean to give in. Rajendra Prasad. Good evening, Raja Chaurasia. Done, guys. Can we move on to the next one? Good evening, Neha. How are you? Read, read, guys. Are you done? Thank you, Preeti. Okay, are you done reading this paragraph, guys? Please. Ma'am, can succumb be equal to no to? Uh, that again depends upon the context, Prabhav. Okay, move on to the next one. I'm good. Meaning. 
giving a meaning of succumb is we are giving to some of our impulses, isn't it? That is the meaning of succumb. See, to give in your impulses. So Seema Kumari, as I told you, it is given. You can also say surrender, to surrender. Succumb is to surrender. Hi, Piyush Ahuja. Good evening. I'm looking like your SST teacher. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> How many mocks? You have to give at least 24 mocks to be really perfect. Sanjay Tekale. Good evening. Good evening, Sanjay. Okay, read the next paragraph quickly. At least 20 to 24 mocks you must take. What, no, ma'am, what is? So you want to know where is it? Uh, let me just explain according to the context. you know thought is to somehow prevent prevent or to stop Hima Bindu thought would be to prevent or to stop uh, thank you Preeti it is not threat uh, Prabhav it is not threat to thwart an attempt is to either prevent or to stop Network problem. So Aman Kumar, uh, you are saying that Mutse RC me fifty percent he question sahi ho para hai. So Aman, ek cheez yad rakna ki kabi bhi whenever you are solving an RC, at least out of uh, five. You should have three uh, questions which you get correct. If you do that correctly, it's good. Okay. Let's move. Uh, are you done, guys? Can we move on to the next one? Thank you, Preeti. Thank you very much.
Done, guys. Can we move on to the next one? Achha, you are Aditi, is it? Okay, I'll call you Aditi. I assume her to be a good sycophant. <laughs> okay. Can we move on, guys? That's okay, Aman. Okay, I'm moving on to the next one. The questions, guys. I have come to the question. Please be very, very careful. Read the question properly. Most of the time what happens is you people don't read the question properly. Read the question properly and then answer. Guys, be careful, understand the meaning and then answer. Just don't be in a hurry to answer anything. One minute rule is there, but nobody is following it. Guys, all of you, I, I am discussing the first answer now, but all of you are wrong. By the way, you people are not thinking, you are just answering. Aditi, stop answering. The answer is wrong. D is wrong. What is it saying? Animal consciousness is part of casual chain. Is it a part of casual chain, guys? Please read the first uh, paragraph. Please read the first paragraph. Yeah, it is not correct. D is not correct. The answer is C. Guys, animal consciousness is driven by natural instincts alone. They are, they always behave on natural instincts again, isn't it? So C is the answer. Here A is not correct because animal consciousness is driven by determinism. Now it is not driven by determinism, then animal consci consciousness follows a moral policy. Where does annual animal consciousness follow moral policy? So the first two goes out. Yes, guys, C is the answer. C is the answer, guys. You people are not reading and you are going on giving me the answer. From the next question, I don't want you to answer for one minute. Did you follow guys? You people are not reading properly and you are just answering guys. Please don't do that. I move on to the next question. Read the question properly. According to the given passage, what are the two basic categories all the beings of the world can be slotted under? Two basic
basic categories all the beings of the world can be slotted under Prabhav, I told you, please follow the one minute rule. Please follow the one minute rule. According to the given passage, what are the two basic categories all the beings of the world can be slotted under? Please read very, very carefully before you answer. That's okay. That's okay. What is the answer guys? Mayang Singh Gaurav Chaudhary. Excellent. Very good. If you look at the fifth and sixth line of the last paragraph. The, uh, I will go back to that paragraph guys. Just have a look at this. Look at this uh, paragraph guys. Can you find the answer? Yes. Yes. So your answer is correct. The answer is C. As beings with intellect and volition and as beings without. What, what is the question? The question is, what are the two basic categories all the beings of the world can be slotted under? So, they can be slotted under intellect and volition. Isn't it? Right. Now, uh, as beings that follow morality and those that are immoral, that is out of context. A is out of context, guys. As living beings are said, now this also has, it is out of scope of the paragraph. Then as beings that do not follow morality and those that these are also out of context. So your answer is C. Yes guys. Here in the, Preeti, Achha, Aditi, you are also correct. Very good. Very good, Aditi. You are correct. Now, guys, here though, in the in option D, they are saying beings that do not follow morality is totally out of context, isn't it? I'm moving on to the next question. Yes, 
Aditi, you are right. Now go on to the third question. What is the factor that necessitates the creation of morality as described in the above passage? What is the factor that necessitates the creation of morality as described in the above passage? Read carefully. Hi Shakti Swaroop. Be very, very careful before you answer. Please take a minute, read all the options carefully and then answer. Aditi. अच्छे से पढ़ लो बेटा रीड केयरफुली हाय हाय संजीव कुमार अगेन यू केम बैक हाय आशीष राजपूत हाउ आर यू गुड इवनिंग सो आई एम गेटिंग अ मिक्स्ड आंसर यस आशीष आई थिंक सी यू ऑफ लेट where is anjali singh rajput guys are you all reading properly i'm just wondering like if you all are reading properly Vibhav Jain, excellent. Vibhav Jain is the only one who gave me the correct answer. Smita Singh and Vibhav Jain, Hima Bindu, Sima Kumari. These are the ones who have given me the correct answer. D is the correct answer. Sanjeev Kumar, you are wrong. Not correct. The answer is not correct. B is not correct. Now. Let's look at the options once, guys. The first one says the presence of subjects and objects in plural plurality. This is wrong. Okay. The next one, the presence of multiple objects that a subject might try to conquer. Are we trying to conquer here anything? We are not trying to conquer anything, right? So option B is also goes off. The presence of two possible courses of deliberation that one might try to follow. Is it a deliberation, guys? It is a. It is not a deliberation, guys. It is a course of action. 
it is a course of action isn't it so your answer is the presence of two possible objects that one might strive to achieve now guys this is very much there in the uh, last paragraph it is very much there it is given as the presence of two different kinds did you read the paragraph carefully that is reason and will yes guys are you able to find the connect guys can you answer the question please ma'am here i am unable to give correct answers but it takes me time when giving what it creates pressure on me and i go for the wrong option ma'am conquer conquer mat conquer hai wo aditi that is conquer Yes guys are you reading
Yes, I have some answers coming in. So Aditi says is D. Katyani and uh, Seema says C. Very good, Katyani and Seema. I know uh, these are tough passages, so it's okay. Just get used to it. Doesn't matter as long as we do it properly. So, guys, answer is C. What is it saying? It, it is not an example for an observable case of ends in themselves. Observable case of ends in themselves. Now, this becomes a uh, group of people of the same race in conflict, in conflict with another racial group. This becomes an observable case, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, C is the right answer, Vibor. Then you come to a group of farmers plowing a plot of cultivable uh, land. Now, this is also an observable case. So, A and B is not the answer. C is the answer. Very good. Sujita Tripathi, Anup Kumar, Seema Kumari, Kathiani. Very good. You people have got it right. Vibor Jain. Excellent. Move on to the next one. Guys, we come to the next question. Shilpa Raj. Very good. Move on to the next paragraph, guys. Could quickly read. Guys, I want you to read. This is actually tough. You will not be able to do it so soon. Read this one, guys. Comprehension 3. Read this quickly guys. This is not a tough paragraph. Please read quickly. Read quickly guys. Nay Aditi, not so soon. You have to answer in the chat box only as uh, from Assam. Your name, what is your name? I'm moving on to the next one, guys. Read the next part quickly. Done, guys. Can we move on to the next one?
Moving on to the next one. Done, guys. Hi, Adarsh Gupta. Good evening. I'm moving on to the next one, guys. The next class will be his. Uh, so Aditi, my class timing is 7 o'clock in the evening. Guys, are you all done? Thank you, Aditi. You can attend my class. Okay, I'm moving on to the next one. It was late 
it was actually the end of the Triassic period, right? So, the answer is D, mass extinction of vertebrates. The answer is mass extinction of vertebrates. D is the answer. Suchita, you are correct. Vibor Jain, D is correct. Shilpa Raj. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm moving on to the next one. Which of the following is not true of the prehistoric species according to the passage? Which is not true? What is the question here? Following is not true of the prehistoric species. Which is not true? Which is not true guys, second one. See guys, if you are talking about they were the only species which look like giant salamanders, it is true, right? This is a true sentence, so it cannot be the answer. Now the fossils of these species were found in Africa, Europe, India and North America. Guys, this is not true. Your answer is B because here it, there has to be Portugal also, right? Portugal is not mentioned. So, B is your answer. Then again, these species may have dependent on water for their existence. This is also true when it is said that when the waters dried up, many died, right? So, this is also true. Now, these species could have been a threat for dinosaurs. This is also true. So, your answer is B, guys. B is not true. Move on to the next one quickly. Which of the following statements can be inferred from the passage? Okay guys, now let's discuss this. Uh, the new species was an aquatic reptile? No, there is no mention of it being a reptile. So C goes off, A goes off. Then the group of giant salamander like amphibians did not live at high latitude. We don't have any mention of this. We don't have any mention of this in the paragraph. So this also goes off. Then the dinosaurs outlived, outlived the group of giant. Outlived means what guys? What is the meaning of outlived? Can you tell me? Outlift means to survive. So the dinosaurs survived the group of giant salamander like amphibians. This is the correct answer. Yes. Now the four, D says the amphibians have evolved becoming less aggressive. No, it is not required that you know they have to be less aggressive. Right. The answer is C guys. Answer is C. Move on to the fourth one guys. The last question of the day. What is the overall tone of the given passage? What is the overall tone of the given passage? Quickly. Yes, Aditi, you are right. Very good. Yeah, very good. Uh, Nishant, uh, Rathor and Smita Singh. Very good. Yes, it is descriptive. The overall tone is descriptive. Ma'am, Richard gave statement. Most of them are tiny and hard. Yes, uh, Vibhor. But one thing, uh, one thing what you have to notice, uh, they can be tiny. They can be tiny and harmless. But that doesn't mean they are not aggressive, right? Tiny can also be ag aggressive. 
Tiny can also be aggressive, right? Did you get it? Be bored. Yes, so this is descriptive guys. It is not casual, it is not ambivalent and it is not uh, uh, praiseworthy. Great, great, uh, great going guys. So, um, so from 1st July guys, please may, uh, note the timing. I will be having the class at the same time. But uh, Amit sir will be having the class from 8 to 9. And Ashish sir for LRDI will be having from 9 to 10. And quantitative ability, Pratik sir will be taking from 10 to 11. But mind you, this is only effective 1st July. Okay. Then uh, guys, uh, I, I keep telling you, if you dream to crack cat, let us help you in your journey. So please take the Anacademy sub subscriptions because you will be able to attend live classes wherein you can interact with the educator and for every uh, question that you answer, you will be getting uh, the live, we can use the live polls and the leaderboard also tells you your position in class and the mock tests, I just told you how important the mock tests are. We have 24 mock tests which will help you really in your uh, in cracking the cat exam and in addition to this you have live doubt clearing sessions too yeah you just have to download the learning app an academy learning app and install you look for the plus course guys your objective is cat and you will have 30 hours of session which will be available to you you pick the uh, sessions you want and uh, you can also avail it either in hindi or english you have that flexibility and there will be 14 top educators who will help you in this journey and we also publish new courses every month so please go ahead and take the subscription guys it will be very very useful this amount is nothing in exchange of tremendous knowledge okay so uh, if you see the subscription it is just for one month 3500 three months 2917 Six months, two triple three, twelve months, fourteen fifty eight, twenty four months. It's eight seventy five only. Please use my coupon code B Y L I V E, and you get a ten percent discount immediately, right? Other than a cat, you have Neat J E E nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all available on an academy. And guys, please do not forget to like and share. Please, abhi ka abhi sab. Sub, uh, jaldi jaldi like karo or share karo and subscribe to hashtag cat live daily. Guys, please subscribe to hashtag cat live daily. Yeah, guys. And uh, my coupon code is BYLIVE. You will get an instant discount of 10% on the course fee. Uh, and thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you for attending this session. I'll see you tomorrow evening. Bye-bye. Have a